At Pedders, steering safety is our primary concern, so all our steering gears are remanufactured to original equipment or above standard, not reconditioned. Here are some of the basic differences between remanufacturing and reconditioning. Housings are a common wearing component, and at Pedders, they are replaced for better steering and longevity, not machined or repaired. The pinion gear and rack shaft are also common wearing components, and at Pedders, are replaced if worn, not machined down, welded or repaired. The pinion assembly is an integral part of most steering gears. The hut is the torsion bar a thin steel bar connecting the driver to the wheels. Torsion bars are regularly overlooked by most reconditioners. Common problems are bent, damaged, loose or twisted torsion bars. These can cause symptoms from vague steering and minor pulling to totally erratic, almost uncontrollable steering. It's also possible to have steering failure due to torsion bar failure. Another common failure is torsion bar pin breakage. At Pedders, all rebalanced pinion assemblies are fitted with new torsion bars and hardened solid steel lock pins for maximum safety. With use, rack ends become worn and loose. All rack ends are replaced with new at Pedders, which are equal to or exceed the original equipment standard. Common reconditioning practice is to rework the worn rack ends in an attempt to remove excessive play. This can result in three serious outcomes. One, the rack end will return to its worn state very rapidly. Two, excessive preloading results in metal fatigue of the tie rod, causing breakage, separation and potential disaster. Three, ball separation caused by lack of housing material. The result is loss of steering and potential disaster.